everyone. Welcome to my channel. I haven't done a pick a pile in a while. So this evening's pick a pile is going to be what blessings can you expect in the next three months? Now, whenever you find this video, you are meant to watch it and pick a pile. This is a timeless video. It's not set on any particular dates. If you're watching it as I put it out, it would be September, October, November. But if you happen to find this a year from now, then that is perfectly fine. If you haven't already, please go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified. Check out my membership. I have a very robust membership with tons of classes in there. And if you want to schedule a reading, that's at dianeaquarius.com. So what I want you to do is just take a nice deep breath, relax, and just start to feel which one you're being more called to. Now, under each angel is a different tarot deck. So this is the gold foil tarot. This is the traditional Rider weight, and this is the Light Seekers Tarot. And if you notice, each angel is different. This one is playing the violin. This one is blowing her horn. And this one, I'm going to go ahead and say it's the bass violin because it looks bigger than a cello to me. Now, you can use that random number picker on Google. It's free. You just, you know, you literally just Google, you know, number generator and you put one, two, three, and it'll pick it for you. Or go with your gut instinct. Ask your guides, your angels, what do you, you know, where do you think I should go? Okay. What do I need to know? This will be pile one, two, and three. And the timestamps will be below the video, so that way you don't have to scroll or anything like that. You know, go through the video. It, you can just hit the timestamp. If you want to pause the video, please do. But without further ado, we're going to start with pile one. Okay, welcome pile one folks. You chose the gold foil tarot with the angel playing the violin. She can sit right here and watch over us. We can do the tarot first and then I have these wonderful oracle cards in front of me. And of course we're focusing on what blessings are coming your way, right? Because you know the world can be so negative at times, but but honestly, there's more good things happening. There's good things happening every day. And there's good things that's coming your way too. So I'm just going to give it a nice shuffle. Okay. And I know the light does reflect off of these. So I will be certainly telling you what they are. Okay, and I'm just going to set these to the side. And let's go ahead and do some of your oracle cards. So this is the Lover's Oracle. Love these cards. They are heart-shaped. They are just gorgeous. Okay, this one looks like it wants to come out. And then this one is Angel Number Messages. Okay, this one wants to come out. There we go. Love these. Energy and Spirit Oracle by um, Sandra Ann Taylor. Love these cards. These actually have a really nice energy to them. And then Angels of Abundance cards. These are nice because these are one of the few oracles that have Oh, that one wants to come out. That has a lot of writing on them. And then we'll do two more towards the end. So let's start to dig in. Let's take a look. You will see that as I do this, I do drink a lot of water. It is pretty um, warm and humid. You know, it's it's been really kind of nasty here in New England. Okay. So first card I pulled was 
Two of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Hierophant. Emperor. Ace of Swords and Ace of Wands. So as you know, in tarot, aces are about new beginnings. So first of all, you may start off in the next few months feeling like you're kind of juggling things. You know, you have a lot on your plate and that's okay. But the thing is, he's juggling things beautifully. Look at this. He's juggling everything beautifully. He can even stand on one foot. So whatever life is throwing at you in the next few months, you've got this. You've got this, okay? Now, what I think is interesting, for those of you not in a relationship, you are definitely getting some relationship type cards. So when you pair the Knight of Cups with the Hierophant here, that can uh, talk a lot about someone coming into your life, right? This is the Knight in Shining Armor. The Hierophant can marry people. And so someone may be coming into your life in the next few months that will bring a long lasting relationship, a commitment. This is a serious relationship. Now, if you're already in a relationship, it may not be romantic in nature. This could be someone who is willing to help you because the Hierophant can help, he can teach, he can lead. But I always say with the Knight of Cups, that cup is upright, it is full. He is bringing good things. Okay, so this is like someone that's bringing a new opportunity to you. So I would say if you're single, it's probably romantic. Maybe not. See how it resonates with you. And if you're in a relationship, there's somebody helpful coming in that is going to be helpful that you can learn from. The emperor talks about you having built a good foundation for yourself to move forward. Okay, because this is a four. And I always say, you know, fours are a good foundation number. Think about it. It, it takes four corners to build the foundation of a house, right? So it's like you have built a good foundation for yourself, actually for this individual to move in. Okay, whoever this is that's coming in, you've built a good foundation. Now, I'm going to say you've also built a good foundation for these nice new beginnings, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. Ace of Swords. So this is a beginning where you may feel inspired to do something that has to do with reading, writing, speaking. Okay? Writing a book, maybe starting a YouTube channel, a podcast, a blog, contributing to uh, research, an article, um, anything to do with that. And also to speaking your truth, really opening up your throat chakra. Okay, speaking your truth, being genuine and authentic, standing in your power. And then Ace of Wands, a fertile new beginning. So the emperor is laying the path. He's laying that foundation for you to have this wonderful new beginning. Now, the sort of new beginning that you can have with Ace of Wands could be a new business, something that's entrepreneurial. It could be that you're taking your hobby, your passion to the next level. You're going to start making money from it. You're going to start putting it out there. Once again, this could be something that is creative too, like a YouTube channel, a blog, a podcast, a book. It can also be something artistic, um, something, you know, arts and, like arts and crafts. Um, for those of you that like to do hair and makeup or make jewelry, anything like that. But honestly, it can really imply anything that is your passion. And so in the next few months, the blessings that are coming your way is that you can handle what's ever being thrown at you. You are at the top of your game. This wonderful person is coming in. For those of you that's in a relationship, this is going to be a helpful person that's going to give you um, give you opportunities to learn from them that, you know, they, they can teach you and lead you and, and help you give you opportunities. And if you're single, then this is that knight in shining armor or a Mrs. Knight in shining armor, however you look at it, um, coming in. And this is just a little nod saying, look, you've laid the, the foundation, like the foundation is just right in your life for this individual to come in and for you to have these new endeavors, for you to start new projects, but also to, to have personal growth, personal growth. 
um, where you are speaking your truth. You're speaking up. You know, you're not just being that shrinking violet. You're allowing yourself to speak your truth, stand in your power, and share it with others for the highest good. So that is certainly a blessing when we have these wonderful new beginnings and new person coming in and all that. So let's take a look at the Lover's Oracle. It says, trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it'll automatically transform. Interesting. So I would say both the Hierophant and the Emperor would apply to this. And because they do talk about doing things sort of like traditionally and um, conforming a bit. And you, as you go through the tarot, you start to transform over to these aces where you have these new beginnings. It's like you learn, you plant the seeds, and then you have this new beginning. So don't give up. Don't get frustrated. Trust in this process. Good things are coming your way. Okay. Now, over these next three months, the number 31 is going to be important. Okay. I am disciplined. Now that tells me that you are going to be starting a new project, a new endeavor, a new relationship, something that's going to require you to be at the top of your game, to maybe make a schedule, to uh, be devoted and dedicated to something or someone. It says, your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Interesting, because here we go, practicality, certainly imagination. Love that. Love the synchronicity. Your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills to manifest them. So how about that? So I love it when we get synchronicities between the different cards. And that's why I think it's so important to use different decks. Okay. Soulful appreciation. Soulful appreciation. And, you know, we was talking about transformation. And isn't that the meaning of butterflies? Heartfelt gratitude. So over these next three months, you're going to have a reason to feel heartfelt gratitude. Things are going to start going your way. You know, maybe you feel like you've been knocked down. Things have been stagnant. Maybe you've been procrastinating. You felt like timing wasn't right. These next few months, that starts to transform. And then a raise or promotion. Love that, right? Everybody wants a raise or promotion. But that makes sense if you've done your learning, your education, you've laid the foundation, now you're having these new beginnings. And that will lead to like more money, right? Because and I'll, let me just also add to raise and pro, or promotion. It, I'm going to add because I feel guided by my guides to say this to you especially for those of you that aren't working, it could be starting a new job or starting your own business. Like I said, turning that hobby of yours, your passion, whatever it is that you love, turning it into something that makes you money, but also helps others too, right? So congratulations, an increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. So Beautiful. Love that. Now, I want you, this is the crystal ball pocket oracle. I love this little deck. And I want you to just ask a question. And as you're asking a question, I'm going to pick a card. Okay, this one looks like it's kind of sticking out. Okay, go. The time is right. Yeah, your cards are screaming like it is time for you to move forward. It's time for you to take action. It's time for you to start living your dreams. You know, with all these aces, all these new beginnings, you really laid that foundation. You know, you've done your learning. You've built the foundation. You planted the seeds. And now, like, everything is coming full circle. But don't forget, be disciplined. You know, especially if you're going to start your own business, especially if you want to raise or a promotion or you want to meet Mr. or Miss Wright. Um, and also trust in the process, right? All right. So Spirit, can you give them an affirmation that they can take with them over these next few months?
So this is two-sided. So one side says, I take a deep breath and allow myself to relax. My whole body calms down. Sometimes we need to take that breath, right? You know, we need to like relax a little bit, let go, trust everything. It does not matter what other people say or do. What matters is how I choose to react and what I choose to believe about myself. True. You know what? I always say what other people think about me is none of my business. I always say that because I can't control what other people think or do or say. And let's finish up with these tea leaves. I love these tea leaves. Okay, this one is coming out. I will pick three. Oh, okay, well, that one wants to come out. Oh, okay, that's two, three. Okay, perfect. Okay, so rooster. Okay, a little bit of a warning here. An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. You know, I love it when spirit gives us these little heads up. So um, make sure that you're focusing on your Knight of Cups energy, that wonderful, helpful person, and not that annoying person that, you know, is trying to get you going, right? You don't need that in your life at all. Throne, position of authority. Interesting. And we see two thrones here, don't we? So lots of synchronicity here position of authority. And your card talked about you getting a raise, a promotion, um, becoming an expert in your field, right? You know, being that expert that is writing that blog, doing the podcast, the YouTube channel, uh, giving conferences and seminars and, you know, teaching classes, anything like that. Oh, I love this. Pineapple. Reconciliation. Reconciliation. You know, back in, I think it was like the 20s and 30s, because if you go to Rhode Island and you go to the Newport mansions, they have a lot of pineapple motif and pineapples were given out of friendship. It, it was, um, you know, a sign of like affection and kindness. And so you see a lot of in those mansions, which they call summer cottages, you see the pineapple motif. And so reconciliation. So with somebody from your past that you've had some difficulties with, there'll be some sort of reconciliation. And that could actually be this person. This actually could represent for some of you, someone from the past. Here they come with this nice cup wanting to reconcile. So, all right, my friends, thank you, Pile One. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know how um, that resonated with you. And, you know, or come back to this video in a few months and let me know how it went. All right, everybody, bye. Okay, welcome pile two people. How are you? So you picked the angel with the horn. Here she is. I will put her with the other angel. They can hang out together. And you picked the Rider Waite deck. So I'm going to pick six tarot cards for you before we do the oracle cards. So we're looking at what blessings are coming for you in the next three months. So the next three months, if you're watching it while I'm putting it out, would be September, October, November. But if you're watching this at some other time, it doesn't really matter. It's whatever the next three months are. Okay. Oh, love that Wheel of Fortune card. The Magician. The Sun. Whoa. Okay, so this is three major Arcana cards, right? And they're such positive ones, right? Like just right out the... Wow, okay. Um, okay. Ten of Swords. And you might say, like, how can this be a blessing? Let's hang on. 
and the Hermit. So, wow. Okay, so four major Arcana cards out of six. All right, so you guys have a lot going on, but in such a good, good way. So this is the Lover's Oracle. I love these cards. And I'm just going to see if, okay, I see one popping out right here. Such a beautiful card, isn't it? I love these. I love these cards. And each one is different if you look at them. And then this is the Angel Number Messages cards. Oh, gosh. I mean, what an auspicious number. 888. And then Energy and Spirit Oracle. I really love these cards. They have such a positive vibe about them. Okay, this one. In the, okay, this is the last one. Oh, freedom. Freedom. I mean, that's a blessing in and of itself, isn't it? I'm going to take Angels of Abundance. Let's see if one wants to jump out at me. No, nope, not yet. Okay, this one did. Okay. It is safe for you to receive. Yeah, so often I think when people have hurts in their lives, their heart chakras get damaged, and they're not able to give and receive love freely. And then these are the tea leaves. Okay, this one is wanting to come out. Two. Three. Okay, so let's dig into this. All right, so we start off really amazing. Wheel of Fortune. And so the Wheel of Fortune is about coming into your own. You're ending one phase of your life. You're starting another one. You're coming into your karmic destiny and fate. So you're really like honoring that soul contract that we all have before we come down. You're really being your true, genuine self. And so that tells me in the next three months, one of your blessings is that you start to transform and become the real you. You're standing in your power. You're being genuine and authentic. And all the garbage that you put up with in the past is going away. This is a new phase. And what kind of new phase? Well, here's the magician. It's a new beginning where you manifest your desires into reality. That's what the magician does. The sun. The sun is about new beginnings and enlightenment. You know, the baby down here is about new beginnings. The sun is about enlightenment. So, you know, and also too, it can be like truths coming to light, maybe things that you didn't know. And that's how I'm going to go into this one, because this is the one card that you might say, okay, this is negative. But when I look at these cards, it's going to go into this one, which is the feather card. And the feather card says... Someone you know is undependable and insincere and insincere. So this is a little heads up. The sun is shining its light. And this is a blessing because this is somebody that you thought was one way. And spirit is telling you right now, here's a heads up. It is a blessing to get a warning. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. So that person that you thought was, you know, trustworthy, dependable, reliable. No. No. The, you know, the cards are giving you that little heads up saying, watch out. And I always take it as a blessing when I get a warning. King of Wands. So that tells me that you're going to be starting your own business. You are going to maybe take your hobby, your passion, whatever it is that you enjoy doing, doing more of it, taking it to the next level, maybe turning it into your own business. Uh, growing your business, growing your whatever that whatever it is that you do for work, growing that, expanding that, but really living with passion. Like when you wake up in the morning feeling excited to get out of bed, this tells me that your sacral chakra, the one that's below your belly button, uh, that nice orange one, is going to be fully open. 
right? That's the one that gives us that love for life, that passion, that enthusiasm, the ability to be creative and productive. So that is a blessing also, you know, feeling alive and happy to be alive. That counts for something. The hermit. One of the wonderful things about the hermit is he does have this lantern and he's lighting the way. And it's interesting how light is playing a part in your reading. So he's exposing some truths. He's showing you things along the way. But he's also about education, learning, reading, writing, meditating. Okay, so this is like the right time for you to take a class, go back to school, get that certification, start a meditation program, go within. Um, it's a wonderful time for you to be introspective and reflective. Okay. Now let's see, with the lover's oracle, acceptance is the key to inner peace. Yeah, and I would say the hermit does talk about inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So we know what that's talking about. It's talking about this feather person that the sun is going to be showing you. So you know what? Once you learn that this is how this person is, okay, it is what it is, and then you move on, okay? And you're being divinely uh, guided throughout all of this. I mean, that's pretty clear. I mean, looking at your tarot cards, that's amazing. So 888, eight, eight, those are numbers that's going to be important to you. And it says, I am abundant. So as you know, eights are auspicious numbers anyways. It says, as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and dream, oh, and creating, and creating a place for abundance. So one of the blessings over these next few months is that you're going to maybe be like going into meditation a little bit, being a little bit introspective, reflective, daydreaming, so that you can really embrace that king of wand energy where you are creating, you're growing a business, you're growing your passions, your hobbies, you know, you're manifesting your desires into reality. <clears throat> You are having that new beginning. You're becoming more enlightened. You know, the, the hermit will lead you to enlightenment for sure. And you're starting a wonderful new phase of your life where you're being more you. So I really do like that. So I can pick this up. So this is the freedom card. Look at that. You can see the bird getting out of the cage. That is you spreading your wings. So one of the blessings in this in these next few months is that you are going to be able to spread your wings. You're going to be able to fly, take off, do those things that bring you pleasure and joy. It says moving on and letting go. So letting go of that person. Now, some of you, it's not going to be a person. Okay, my guides are whispering like in my ear about this. It's going to be a situation, a situation like maybe work where like you thought you could trust people or trust, you know, management or whatever, and they kind of show themselves for who they are. And so you know what, you just accept it. And then you make a decision to move on, let go, right? And if it is a particular person, then same thing, move on, let go. At the end of the day, we can only control ourselves. We can't change others, can we? It is safe for you to receive so that tells me in the next few months, get ready to start receiving. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have avail available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good, for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. So yeah, you know, sometimes we have to allow for this to happen, right? You have to like literally, literally, you guys are having like a real theme here of like letting go, abundance is coming, um, accept things the way they are, right? You know, so like let go, accept it, move on. So there is like a real theme with you guys that this is going to be a wonderful time for you to really transform and focus on you, do things that you want, grow your own abundance, um, create that life that you want. And then the other two cards that I got, dogs, 
getting together with friends. And I always do take this card quite literally when I get any of the dog cards in the tea leaves because it can mean that you're actually getting a dog. So for those of you that's thinking about getting a dog, it can mean that. And it also means loyal friends, loyal people around you because not everybody has this energy, right? This is just one lousy person in your life. The majority are going to have this wonderful energy where they're loving, they're kind, they care about you, you know? Not everyone's out to get you. And then ladder, climbing towards success. So it's interesting, abundance, success, freedom, you know, uh, receiving. So you guys should really get ready to accept an abundance of whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest into your life because you're going to have that new beginning, okay? So ask a question, ask a question, and I'm going to pick one card. This is the crystal ball, oh, okay. The crystal ball pocket oracle, and it says no. So if you were asking about something, if it was yes, no, maybe, okay, so no, not quite the right time for it. Uh, maybe go into a different direction for the next few months, because we're just looking at the next three months, right? Um, or if he was asking about a certain situation, you know, yeah, probably not the right timing for it, okay? And then what affirmation can all of you take for the next three months? What can you carry with you over the next three months? I am totally adequate for all situations. I choose to feel good about myself. I am worthy of my own love. Yeah, interesting. I'm worthy of my own love. It's safe for me to receive. Okay, so I see a pattern here. So all right, pile two people. Um, I think you're going to have an exciting next three months. Lots of new beginnings coming into your own, living your dreams, living your passions, continuing like your studies, your education, learning something new. Maybe teaching something new. If you're, you know, an expert at something, maybe you're going to be teaching it also. Coming into abundance, um, you know, having good loyal people around you, having good times with friends, and then climbing towards success and having abundance. And so just really beautiful cards here and having freedom, spreading your wings in these next three months. So, all right, in the comment section, put, you know, how this resonates with you. You know, did it make sense? Can you see maybe how some of this is starting to already happen in your life? Let me know. You can always come back to this video too and put in your two cents. And don't forget to like, um, hit subscribe, check out my website, dianaquarius.com and check out membership because I have tons of classes and I do lots of lives for everybody. So, all right, bye pile two. Okay. Welcome pile three people. So you picked the light seekers tarot and this angel that I believe it's the, it's the bass violin because it looks bigger than a cello to me, but I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, put it in the comments. I know you guys will tell me. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle your deck and pick out six cards. And this is all about the blessings that you have coming in the next three months, whatever the next three months are for you. If you're watching this at the time that I put it out, it'd be September, October, November. But this is one of those timeless things that you could even keep coming back to if you want. So what blessings are coming their way, Spirit? Okay, here we go. Nine of Swords. Knight of Swords, 
page of swords. So, okay, lots of sword energy. And you know what? Sword energy is really good for any of you that do anything with the written or spoken word. So any of you that write, um, you're avid readers, you give public talks, you're an actor, um, you have a YouTube channel, you're a blogger, you do podcasts, anything like that. Oh, which one is this? The devil. You know what? I'm going to explain to you why that can be a blessing. Some of you are going to be like, wait, the devil? No, hang on. Because we're looking at it in a positive aspect, right? We're not looking at it in a negative aspect. Nine of Cups. And Six of Swords. Okay, let's choose your Oracle cards. We'll start first with the Lover's Oracle. Love these cards. They're heart-shaped. So much fun. Okay, this guy seems to want to pop out. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Oh, some of you are going to be spreading your wings, right? Flying away. Okay, and this is angel number messages. This guy is sticking out. Two, three. We'll take a look at that in a second. Energy and Spirit Oracle deck. This is by Sandra Ann Taylor. Let's see if one wants to emerge. Okay, this guy. Ooh, sensitivity and strength. Those are beautiful qualities, aren't they? And then Angels of Abundance. Love these cards. Oh, this guy is sticking out block out distractions. So important, right? When you're, which tells me that you're working on your goals in this time. Okay. Cause when you're working on your goals, you can't have distractions. So that is a fantastic thing. Oh, okay. This guy wants to come out. Oh, and I think this one, I'm going to do one more. Okay. This one. Okay. So let's dig in pile three people. Okay, so Nine of Swords, that tells me that you're really going to start releasing some negativity out of your life. I, I really am starting to think you guys are going to start breaking free in the next three months, start spreading your wings. So you're going to be doing a lot. I can see looking at this, you're going to do a lot of releasing work, you know, letting go anyone, anything, any situation that is no longer for your higher good. You're just cutting it out, you're moving on, and you are spreading your wings, okay? Knight of Swords, this is a time of a lot of action for you. This is a time where you really start moving forward, which is why I think you're getting blackout distractions, because you're moving forward in your life. So don't let these, those things, you know, that pop up, all those day-to-day -day things get in your way. You have a higher goal in these next three months. So just block out the, the garbage, all that noise, because you need to take action and move forward. Page of Swords. Interesting. And remember how I told you, you know, swords are a lot to do with reading and writing and that sort of thing, getting a message out. And so, you know, here you are receiving good news with something to do with that. And it can be anything that's um, intellectual, analytical, spoken, like I said, you know, for any of you that do, you know, voice work, acting work, singing, um, really opening up that throat chakra, okay? Speaking your truth, um, but just getting really nice news around those things. Those of you that are trying to launch a podcast, a blog, getting a book published, starting a book, you know, finding, like say, an editor or an agent, anything like that, that's when it's going to happen in these next few months. Now, the devil, you might say, wait, why is this good? Because the thing with the devil is, he is about, yes, a lot of things like temptation, greed, and that sort of thing. But when you look at him in a positive aspect, he is about freedom and breaking free. If you think about regular tarot, the devil, you have those two characters down the bottom that are chained up. 
But the thing is, the chains are loose. The hands, they can just take it off, you know? And so this is like your time to break free. And that's what I'm really getting with you guys. Like this is your time to spread your wings. Um, you know, and don't give into these sort of distractions, right? Block out the distractions. So, you know, yeah, the devil might tempt you a little bit with this and that. This would also be a good time for any of you that have addictions to really work on that. And addictions can come in many shapes, many forms, as you know, everything from, you know, say alcoholism to food to shopping, you know, to whatever that that's unhealthy that you shouldn't, you know, that's not for your highest good. Okay. This is the right time for you to break free of any unhealthy patterns, any negative blockages, any addictions. Okay. Which tells me that in order for you to have that sort of scenario where everything's right for that to happen, that you're in a good place, that the energy around you in the next three months would be conducive to having those things happen. Okay. So nine of cups, here you are feeling, you know, pretty happy, free. I mean, talk about flying, right? And spreading your wings. You know, here you are just like rejoicing, happy. Um, so that's certainly a blessing, feeling fulfilled, feeling satisfied, feeling a sense of accomplishment, feeling like, wow, I did it. Uh, life is good. Okay. And then six of swords. And it's interesting because, you know, if you look at the birds here in this deck, they have these strings connecting them. And remember what I told you about the, the devil card in traditional tarot? It has those two chains coming down. This is a real time. I, you know what? Here's the thing, guys. I'm going right back to this. This is like the biggest message I'm getting so far for you. This is the time that you just let go, you spread your wings, you release those unhealthy patterns, unhealthy people, toxic relationships, toxic situations, negative workplaces. You're releasing all of that. You're letting it go. You're moving on. You're taking action. You are taking action, okay? So actually, we'll look at this one. Um, yes, the past is now behind you. Okay, so I think you start off like feeling a bit, you know, shackled, uh, restrained, stuck, but then you end up with, okay, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. Love it. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. You know, in one of the other readings, they got trust. You guys are having faith. So, it's important that we keep our energies aligned, you know, for the highest good that we don't just give up. You know, sometimes we sit there and we wait for that other shoe to drop for the, you know, floor to fall out from beneath us kind of thing. Have some faith in the universe. Okay. The past is behind you. Those negative situations, by the time you're done with these three months, they're going to be behind you and you're going to feel like a different person. 23 is going to be an important number in the next few months. And it says, I am adventurous, which is interesting because you get Knight of Swords, which is about taking action. So adventurous, taking action. You have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible. You love everything possible. You love change and excitement. Oh, I see. Sorry. You know what? They put the period on a star. My apologies. Let me do that over. You have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible, period. You love change and excitement and need both to feel truly alive. Oh, they do. They put the periods on the stars. For you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. So these next three months are not going to be dull. I think lots of self-growth, but also in the real physical 3D world, you taking action, you actually physically doing things. Um, this actually could imply actually really traveling, you know, not just the inner work, because so often when we do this sort of stuff, we're talking more about inner work, right? Opening our chakras and cord cutting and that sort of thing. But I think what this is talking about actually for a lot of you is going to be physically traveling, physically moving, physically changing jobs. Okay, so not just the metaphysical, which I know we talk about so often when we do these kinds of readings. Sensitivity and strength. 
And we look at that sturdy anvil. And, you know, obviously, you know, that tree stump is not going anywhere too. So just really grounded energy. Tapping the forces within. So, you know, this is making me think of the strength card. Like you are stronger and more courageous than what you know. You have more inner strength and inner courage than what you know. Why? Because you are strong. This is you, you know? So give yourself some credit and say, okay, I've got this. I can do this. So block out distractions. And I think it's because you have so much going on in the next three months, both in your inner world and your outer world, that you're not going to have time for any garbage. Your life purpose and other priorities need your individual attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out. And give yourself that permission. You know, like if you have that person that is always in your ear gossiping, being negative, that sort of thing, like your guides, the universe, angels, whomever you want to refer to them as, they're giving you permission. Like, it's okay. It's all right. Block them out. Be respectful. Be kind. I mean, they're human beings. But at the same time, it's okay. All right. So you get desk. And it's interesting because I said you have a lot of sword energy, really good for reading, writing, spoken word. And you know, here we go with the desk. Pay attention to your, oh, wow. Okay. Pay attention to your work. Block out distractions. Okay, so this is a time that you need to really focus in these next three months because you're going to be blessed with these wonderful changes that's going to lead to success. But you're not going to have the, the success if you are, you know, not being diligent, not being careful, not being focused, right? Be schedulized, um, that sort of thing. Mule, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So now if that's you, okay, heads up, take a look. Okay, ask yourself, okay, is that me? Am I really not willing to change? Or is it talking about someone in your life, that person that I was talking about that's always like gossiping, distracting you, being negative, that you just need to release, right? Because we can't change other people. We can only change ourselves, right? So if you need to let go of somebody, sometimes, you know, I always say not everyone's going to go all the way on our journeys with us. Some people are just meant to be there for a short period and then we move on, right? And that's how life works. Boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So right, remember in the beginning, we're talking about taking action. And so you have to do stuff sometimes physically in this 3D world. You know, it's good to do the inner work, but we also have to do the physical stuff. Because if we do all this inner work and then we don't actually make a change, we don't take any initiative, well, nothing's going to happen, right? And so this is saying, you know, take some initiative, you know, really work on these goals, do something. I'm going to use the crystal ball pocket oracle cards and ask a question. Just ask a question and I will pick one card. Reconsider, reconsider. So whatever you were asking about, the timing may be off. This may not be the right timing and that's okay because we're only looking at three months, right? Um, you know, see how that resonates with your question. But it's also saying to maybe be a little bit more reflective, think about this over the next three months. Okay, and what affirmations can I leave you with? This is, um. Louise Hayes affirmations for self-esteem. Oh, this guy wants to come out. Okay. For every problem that I may create, I am confident that I can find a solution. So you have everything that you need inside of you to do what you need to do, to correct any mistakes, to move forward, to deal with problems. And then on the other side, Life supports me in every possible way. 
That's what I said. Like some of you, I think you're waiting for the other shoe to drop, the floor to fall out from beneath you. And this is saying, no, the universe is supporting you. You know, your guides, your angels, creator, God, whatever you want to, you know, Jesus, Mary, uh, Buddha, it, whatever you want to call, you know, those, those people, those entities on the other side that help us, they've got your back. That's what it's saying. They've got your back. And so don't forget that, you know, none of us are ever alone. We all have our spirit guides. We all have angels. We have loved ones that have crossed over that's helping us. You know, ascended masters, prophets, uh, spirit animals. You know, there's like a whole entourage on the other side that's willing to help us. So, all right, my friends, thank you so much, Pile 3. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, check out membership. If you want a reading, dianaquarius.com. And put in the comments what you think. Did this resonate? Does it make sense? Can you see how this is applying to your life already? So, all right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I so appreciate it. Bye.